graduate students from Junagar Epicas University. Uh, they have joined on 15th of November 2022 and uh, they are going to complete their you know, three month uh, international training program uh, on, on 14th of February 2023. So this is basically the second batch, the first batch from Junagar Agriculture University five students. Uh, they also came under the same uh, international training program in uh, 2021. So we are very happy to host all the 10 students. So I think that in the last three months, so they have uh, done uh, a significant work. They have also learned uh, many things, including they have established their own experiment uh, in the greenhouse, so there are two types of experiment. In one uh, experiment, they have done work on uh, chili, and in the second uh, experiment, they have worked on uh, cowpea on different aspect of you know stress physiology. So in these experiments, the students actually uh, have received hands-on experiment how to you know uh, establish uh, an experiment uh, starting from uh, soil connection and then designing with the experiment with proper experimental design and then uh, the you know treatment management uh, which is also very integral part uh, for their you know future research work so uh, they have collected some of the interesting data which they will be analyzing but uh, what i believe is that you know within these three months the students they have achieved a lot it's not only inside you know uh, experimental uh, things they have also learned many new things uh, uh, starting from you know um, uh, remote sensing and GIS applications in agriculture, some of the new techniques, for example, using drone technology, you know, for better managing agricultural production. And then they have also taken many, uh, uh, many lectures uh, provided by, you know, many uh, experts in their respective areas. So, uh, apart from that, uh, the students also had the opportunity uh, to visit, you know, uh, some of the, you know, uh, uh, important you know university related to agriculture for example Kassasar University uh, they also have the opportunity to visit uh, National Science and uh, Technology Development Agency which is the premier uh, research organization in Thailand so uh, these were uh, something related to their academic you know uh, uh, exposure and uh, apart from that they also had the opportunity uh, to have some kind of you know a laser trip so in these three months, I would uh, say that they have uh, overall understanding of the you know global issues which are you know facing uh, agricultural uh, production and nowadays uh, starting from you know uh, drought stress problem and starting from climate change problem and uh, apart from that also they had the opportunity to visit some of the prominent Thai university and some of the important you know Thai research organization. So I hope that with the knowledge and training they have learned within this three months that will help them in further you know improving their uh, knowledge in further improving their skills which they I believe that they will utilize for the uh, development of Indian agriculture and for the development of their uh, own university. Thank you very much.
I am Dr. Farhad Zulfikar. I am part of Agribusiness Management uh, program here at AIT in the Department of Food, Agriculture and Bioresources. And uh, I am from Pakistan and I have been associated with AIT since last two years. I am uh, very happy to say that uh, we hosted 10 students from Junagar Agriculture University and uh, we had a very good experience with them. They were here and they were part of this training program which was for three months from November to February and uh, we tried to give them the exposure which included you know lectures you know field demonstrations field trips which included leisure as well as you know visiting different research centers and uh, I expect that they will have a much better overview of how this uh, works uh, I specifically gave them idea about entrepreneurship and uh, value chain uh, and uh, so that whatever they do you know they eventually have an idea about how overall agriculture system works so i wish all of them the very best of luck and uh, i hope that uh, they serve you know their country you know they make their parents and their family members very proud and uh, being an AIT alumni and uh, they make us proud as well. So all the best to all of our you know, students who are now going to be AIT alumni, you know, all the best.
I am Sushil Kumar Dimansu. I am working as your assistant professor here in PRT. Actually, uh, we received 10 students from Junagadh Agricultural University. They started their internship from 15th of November. And uh, these students are very good, what we have experienced here. They work very hard here, whether we gave them like different types of assignments or uh, different types of research activity. So we divided our module in such a way that uh, they will be doing some research activity also. And other than that, they will be getting some extra exposure also related to agriculture or different allied sectors. So while we are talking about research, uh, these students are from two different backgrounds that uh, five from agriculture and five from horticulture. So accordingly, we assigned them two different research activities. Uh, the horticulture students were involved in research activity related to Chile and uh, the agriculture students were involved with uh, that uh, cow bee. and uh, both group worked really very hard and uh, successfully they completed their experiment also up to certain extent because uh, there were some time limitations and overall I can say that uh, their performance was very good and uh, if we talk uh, about the support what we received from Junagadh Agriculture University it was very cooperative we never faced any issue related to communication or any type of documentation thank you so much for this type of opportunity and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us we are always here to help these students and uh, I wish them very good luck for their future endeavors. Thank you.
Kanani. I am currently pursuing my 8th semester in BSc Honours Agriculture, College of Agriculture, Junagadh Agricultural University. I came here at Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand for 3 months short term internship and my topic was crop nutrient and irrigation water management using smart agricultural technology. I had great experience throughout my internship and I heartily thankful to ICAR, NAHEP IDP, College of Agriculture, Junagadh Agricultural University. Thank you. Training on crop nutrient and irrigation water management by using uh, smart agriculture technologies, and my advisor is uh, Dr. Abhishek Dattas. Thank you. I am Sadhvik Suvanka. Now I am in Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand, for three month international training program on crop nutrient and irrigation water management using smart agricultural technology. During these three months, we learned a lot about uh, smart agriculture technology, GIS, GPS, remote sensing, climate smart agriculture, data management, statistics and many other things. And I think this will help a lot in future. Hello everyone, I am Kajal Mishra of 8th semester College of Agriculture, Junagadh Agriculture University. I am in Asian Institute of Technology for 3 month uh, internship program on the topic crop nutrients and irrigation water management for smart agriculture technology. And I am heartily thankful to the IDP, NAHEP and ICR for giving me this uh, opportunity to send me in AIT. Hello everyone, I am Rohan Paru. I am currently pursuing my BSc on Horticulture degree from the College of Horticulture, Junagadh Agriculture University, Junagadh. And I am currently uh, here at AIT, Asian Institute of Technology, for three months uh, international training program funded by World Bank and NAHEP. And my training title is Crop uh, Nutrient and uh, Irrigation Water Management through Smart Agricultural Technology. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ushika Meena. I am pursuing my BSc Agriculture from Junagadh Agriculture University, Junagadh. And I have come here at Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand and for a short term training of 3 months. And my topic is crop nutrient and water irrigation water management using uh, smart agriculture technologies. And my advisor is Dr. Ravishek Dutta. Thank you. Hmm. Hello everyone, myself Deep Osa. I am from uh, College of Horticulture and I am pursuing my 8th semester from College of Horticulture, Junagadh Agriculture Institute, Junagadh. And I am here at Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand for a 3 month short term training under the title Crop uh, Nutrient and Irrigation uh, Water Management through Smart Agriculture Technology under uh, advisor Dr. Avishek Dutta. Thank you. Everyone, myself Urvisha Radharia. Currently, I am pursuing my 8th semester BSc on Horticulture degree from Junagadh Agricultural University, Junagadh. Today, I come here at Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand, for my short-term international training, training program. My advisor for this training program is Dr. Avishak Dutta Sir, and the training topic is for nutrient and irrigation water management using smart agricultural technology. I am heartily grateful for giving me this opportunity to NAHEP IDP Cell, ICAR and World Bank to support our international training at Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ashwini Kumar Sharma. I am pursuing my 
everyone, myself Priti Vora. I am currently pursuing BSc for the Horticulture from Sunaga Technical General University. Now I am come from the short term three month international training at Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand. And my advisor is the Dr. Abhishek Dasta sir. My training topic is uh, crop nutrient and uh, irrigation water management by using smart agricultural uh, technology. And uh, thank you so much for the NAHEP IDP at IC. Uh, thank you so much. I am uh, Dr. Hayatullah, working as a regional agriculture expert in the Department of Food, Agriculture and Bioresources. I received these students uh, three months ago in November, and I was the one who was directly working with these students in terms of their management and all activities. So the groups comprise of two types of students, one from agriculture and another from horticulture. They were quite uh, good in terms of their work and in terms of their classes and in terms of their experiments. And I'm very glad that within this short period of less than three months, they were able to conduct two independent experiments. The agricultural group had their experiment focusing on drought and, uh, and cowpea, and the horticulture group, they worked with the chili and management of uh, salinity stress. Today, when I attended their final presentation, I was even more feeling proud to see that they have collected a sufficient data. They were quite good at managing their experiments and collecting data and, and along with their other activities. They were also exposed to various field visits, various universities and leisure trips along with their routine classes and, and online activities. So overall I am very much glad to have these students with us for the three months. And I hope that, and I, I pray that they, they should prosper in their career ahead. Thank you so much.